and the second time, there's like a possibility that they'll send you home if you don't pass your OSCE. So that scares me the most. That's actually the thought that's running on my mind. Hi guys, it's Danica and welcome back to my channel. To those who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Danica. I'm a registered nurse in the Philippines and also here in the UK. If you're new here on this channel, then I encourage you to click on the subscribe button below and also the bell button beside it so that you will be notified every time that we have an update. So guys, for today's video, we will be talking about my top OSCE tips. So those who are kind of new about the UKRN process or like new in this channel. So like OSCE is kind of like the last step in qualifying as a UKRN. It's um, a practical exam that you take when you arrive here in the UK. So this would all be about... Um, OSCE tips based on my experience. So I'm not claiming anything like if you do this and that, you're gonna pass 100% sure. Of course not. No one knows if you're gonna pass or not. But these are like um, the things that I've actually learned from my experience and hopefully you'll find it helpful as well if you're gonna take your OSCE and also um, at least help you a bit or like ease you about your worries in taking the examination. Um, yeah, so if you guys are interested, then please keep on watching. So the things I'm going to tell you about is like a general tip. So I'm not really disclosing anything about the examination. Like this is what I got when I when I took the exam because you can't really disclose anything. You'll also be actually signing a form about not disclosing anything um, after the examination. So yeah, let's begin. So number one would be don't review ahead because like... <laughs> When we came in here, you kind of like worry about it already, like you want to review in advance and like you want to look on YouTube or like you want to ask those who come ahead like, oh, what are this? What's going to happen? Like, can I have your reviewers? Stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. But it actually did not really help because like sometimes the one that you found you find in YouTube is actually outdated already. So it's kind of different. Also, the ones that probably... Um, the person you know here will give us a review where it's kind of different from what will be um, given in the review center. So it just will kind of confuse you what actually is the right thing. Because like there will be a like a script that would be given if you're going to do the practical exam, like blah, 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 like this, like that. And it kind of differs. So you actually don't know what you're going to follow. And actually, from what I know, they've already changed the skills. So it's a different skill now that they've added so it's kind of changing so there's no actually need to rush on things like oh, I want to do an advance blah 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 like that but I actually don't recommend it I don't think it actually helps when you're on the review review um, review time already um, just focus and like don't bother too much if it's not yet your time just um, take time in learning probably stuff when you're working in the hospital and just focus when it's time for you to review because surely you will have all the time on the on the review center to actually um, do all the stuff that you need to know. So number two tip would be um, since it's a practical exam you need to do it all over again so just keep on practicing. It's not something that it's a written exam that you can do it on your own but you actually need a partner to practice so you're gonna practice with each other so that you can also be more confident when you're there and yeah it really helps when you have someone because like he will also encourage you or like notice what are the mistakes you've done and you'll also be more confident since you're actually talking to an actual person so you'll know this stuff because it will be a practical exam so you really need someone to have to practice with it will be your buddy or like your partner so if you have time even after actually the review session if you go home just keep on doing it all over again you know muscle memory and like I remember we've only had like two weeks to prepare for the exam. That's actually kind of long because some review centers will do it just three days or five days. But like it actually helped that we keep on doing it all over again because you're, like, you're just gonna used to it after like a week or so. So I highly recommend do it all over again. Practice and practice and practice. So number three would be make sure all your stuff and documents is ready beforehand. So when you go there and take actually the exam, they're gonna check 
some papers as well. I can't remember now what are the papers, but they did have. You'll receive an email about what needs what you need to bring, but make sure everything is ready so that you won't go like worrying about stuff. It's just like um with every examination, right? Get ready with your uniform, all the stuff. You don't want to worry about these things in the in the night or the day before the actual exam. So make sure everything is all set and like you're mentally prepared, physically prepared, and that um just think positive that everything will run smoothly. So again, make sure you prepare everything, all your stuff, and that it's all ready when you go there. So guys, number four would be pray and try not to be nervous. I know ev not everyone who's gonna watch this video would be a Christian, but for those who are Christians or whatever um, religious belief we hold on to, don't forget to pray because it's sometimes, because I'm a Christian, I came from the Philippines, it's a Christian country, so praying is actually a big part in everything we do and that eases us as well. So don't forget to pray and um, try not to get nervous. So guys, actually, um to tell you the truth on that actual date um sorry so on that actual date i was really really nervous it's like the first time i ever felt that kind of nervous because like there's this scare that like if you don't pass it the first time or like the sec i think second time or like maybe the third time i don't know anymore but like if you kind of don't pass it the first time uh, and the second time, there's like a possibility that they'll send you home if you don't pass your OSCE. So that scares me the most. That's actually the thought that's running on my mind. And like when you go in the examination room, actually, it's um, it's so silent. Like you can hear your footsteps and like um, the facilitators or whatever you call them, it's like just really silent. They won't really talk too much and like everybody's nervous. <laughs> you don't really get to talk with each other as well. So the vibe as well the ambience of the whole thing is really um scary <laughs> so yeah um i was really really nervous but try not to do that just take deep breaths in and out it's easier said than done but that really helps um don't get nervous just try to calm yourself because you only have yourself that day no one will help you anyway so please 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 try to calm yourself and try not to get nervous so number five tip would be listen to your facilitator so in as much as the review center tries to copy what actually is going to happen in the actual exam it's still going to be different um setting wise it's going to be different and just um follow or like listen to your facilitator because they will guide you all throughout anyway they will call you when it's your time they will let you know that you can have a break on each test because with ours we can have actually the option to drink water after each test or go to the toilet but let the facilitator know and don't do something that will um invalid invalid invalidate your examination because like there will be no cheating in any ways. So yeah, just listen to your facilitator. So number six, I think it goes hand in hand with the previous one would be follow instructions. So as far as I can remember, the, um, the difference between the ones that we're doing the review center in the actual exam is actually the pen color. So as you go through assessment and then go to planning, um, you're gonna have a different color of pen. So actually, you'll bring that paper. So for example, you had like a blue ball pen on assessment and you got a green pen on planning. So you can't really change your answers on assessment because you're gonna have a different color of pen. So there's no way you can actually like um, erase um, your answers or change it because the color of the pen is kind is different. And what else? follow instructions in a sense that when it's time's up, it's time's up. Because like, if you're still gonna be writing, um, that could invalidate your exam. So just let it go when they say um, time's up, it's finished, um, stop writing. <laughs> and number seven would be try not to compare your answers after examination. This is something that I know in every test, you're gonna hear this advice, but this is one thing that we didn't really do because we like kind of compared what's um, um what happened or what our answers are, but it's actually kind of different. The setting could actually be different, so it's a different situation. It's not something that's gonna be the same for everybody because I remember like in our assessment, our patient was like um, GCS. 
50, 15 and then some could get like a confused patient so I don't know if that's like for all examinations but I think they kind of um they kind of change a little bit in each scenario so that's um that's different for everybody so just try not to compare your answers as well but yeah I failed to do that I think it's very common but like if you're gonna compare your answers it's just gonna be um more frustrating because you're gonna say oh gosh i didn't do this did that i forgot my apron i did this one blah 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 so yeah try not to compare your answers anyway. and last but not the least i think i, I kind of said it already um let it go so after the examination <laughs> we are all depressed i don't know comment down below if you also felt that one that feeling because like I don't know how many of us anymore, but like we're kind of a group, so like we waited for each one of us to finish and then we went outside and like everyone's like, <laughs> like, oh, shocked, depressed, don't want to talk. Um, yeah, I still remember that feeling like, oh, shocks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fail, like blah blah blah. It's really a depressing feeling after the exam. I don't know how others could be like just be fine after it but for us we were like so down that you can't really shop even though we traveled far and went to Swindon which have like the best like designer outlets didn't really have the mood to actually shop because you're like thinking about the examination but then you'll soon gonna realize just let it go because like worrying and like thinking about it won't change anything because it's already done anyway and if you ever fail you're just gonna do the same skill so it's like impossible not to actually make it on the second try. That's just me. That's my opinion. Because like you're really going to be doing the exact same thing. And then if you fail, you're going to be uh, they're gonna be um, messaging you about what exactly the reason you failed. So you're just going to be focusing on that. So I think it pretty much second time would be like a sure pass. So try to calm yourself down and like um, just be positive about it. Because like... We can do anything anyway and like it's not something that it's gonna show on your records that ah you failed twice you failed once or like you didn't you didn't get it on the first try so i guess that's it guys that's those are the top tips that i could give you about oski again try not to worry about it not until you're on that situation already because worrying doesn't actually um change anything also after the examination just you know let it go if you pass you pass if you fail just do it again it doesn't matter um you're still gonna be nurse here in the uk and you're still gonna be band five no matter if you pass it the first time or the second time that's fine so if you guys have a question just comment down below and i'll try to answer your questions again if you find this video helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell as well so that you'll be notified if there's a new update um and yeah um thank you guys for always watching and see you again in my next video Bye.